Hello, my name is Bill Graham with Fresh Filters from Sunlight Supply. I want to tell you about our carbon filters because they are made with the best carbon on the planet. Fresh Filters use a very pure, very porous, granular carbon with a super high absorbency. Whereas the big heavy filters use a more dense, less pure pellet carbon that is going to absorb less in time. I would like to introduce Adam Tanton. This is the man who created Fresh Filters and brought Fresh Filters to North America. Thank you, Bill. Well, basically, it's all about the carbon. We are very, very lucky in Australia to have a very unique carbon source that's found in the Collie Basin of Western Australia. Unlike other carbon sources, this was made from an ancient rainforest. 250 million years ago, the Australian continent was covered with a rainforest. As the continent moved down and the country got hotter, all of that organic material basically uh, entered the ground but stopped very, very shallow on bedrock, got covered in sand and baked in the desert for 250 million years. Around about 50 years ago, a company started to mine this coal to use in its kilns in the manufacturing process of titanium oxide. What they did is they moved the sand off the top, dug the coal out, and what they found was a very, very unique, very pure, very low density, and very, very porous, naturally occurring carbon. This is what we use in fresh filters. Now, if you got low density granular carbon in here. Um, what else have you done to the filter so that we can get so much air through it? The coal goes through the kiln three times. It's actually triple activated. We take only the top 10% of that finished product. We sieve out all the dust, all the small particles, and what we're left with is a four strand, eight strand per inch size carbon, hence the name RC48. This is exclusive to us, it's very, very consistent, it's very low in dust, and it ensures that the airflow and the pressure losses are exactly the same every single time. Are we looking for a certain airflow through this carbon? Yes, we are, Bill. Luckily, because of the purity of this carbon, because it's 90% pure carbon, we actually have a 0.2 second contact time, which is virtually impossible to get it out of, uh, out of a uh, pelletized carbon due to the fact that this has so much more surface area through its irregularity and so much more purity. As you can see, I'm not too sure if you can see by the camera there, but you'll find this is a, a very lightish grey type of carbon. It's very smooth and very, very consistent. Whereas here we have a, almost a graphite-like rich black, which really shows up the purity of this carbon. It's very, very irregular in its shape. It exposes way more carbon, actual fixed carbon, to the airstream than this does. So it doesn't matter how much actual carbon you have in one of these pellets, you're not exposing all of that carbon to the airstream. We are exposing around about 50% more surface area per gram than a competing pelletized carbon. That's how we get away with such a short contact time. When you first brought the filters to North America, you always included the guaranteed analysis of the carbon on the carbon packaging. Have you seen anybody else's guaranteed analysis included on the packaging? Or have they, another manufacturer even ever provided a guaranteed analysis of their carbon? Well, we do see manufacturers provide typical analysis. But the problem with the typical analysis and the problem with carbon is that it varies greatly. Uh, we also analyze it every single batch when it comes to our factory. We do uh, iodine tests and we do butane tests for airstream and it must meet a certain criteria or the carbon is refused. We will provide our analysis on the side of our box every single filter we sell. We guarantee it's within our specifications. What about uh, other companies that say that they're going to be using Australian carbon? I think I thought you had an exclusive. We have had a lot of other people saying they use Australian carbon. The great thing about this carbon is it's made with another product called titanium oxide. The both are actually kilned at the same time. The titanium oxide leaves a unique fingerprint that's exclusive to Australian carbon. Each batch will have around about 2-3% to titanium oxide fingerprint. 
This is easily analyzed with an ICP scan. We do it often. Uh, we've caught out quite a few of our competitors not telling the truth about the carbon. If they don't have a 2-3% to 3 uh, uh, titanium oxide content in the ICP scan, we can instantly tell that they're not using our carbon. So that's like a DNA fingerprint of carbon. Absolutely. You need to us and it's found nowhere else in the world due to our killing process. We are very, very lucky that we have this carbon in Australia and we've managed to grab hold of it and use it and provide it to you guys in this amazing filter, the Fresh Filter. Thank you very much. Thanks, Bill. Do it.